Okay, and that is 25 million woodcutting XP. We've pretty much got this all over the course of editing all my videos, so that's nice. Just AFKing a free 250 points. Um, yeah, awesome. We are now at 34.72k. And that, my friends, is another Zenite shard. I think we're under 100 kills, I'm pretty sure. Oh my god, that guy has the arson eye. Nice. He has the arson eye. Kind of just made me panic a little bit. But I have the second Zenite shard now. I only need uh, two more. And that is a light frame, not the one we want. I think there's only points for doing a heavy blister and not a light blister. I could be wrong, but that's not the one we want. I just got a ballista spring. Okay, I have two ballista springs. So, no, I don't have all the pieces. I have a heavy frame and a monkey tail. Forgot to do an intro for this video, so I'm doing it now. Sumi, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We have three master tasks I want to get done today. I want to do the sub 75 inferno. I want to complete a TOB with three people in under six minutes. And I want to get all my Zenite jewelry. There's a whole lot more we want to do as well, but those are the three 500 point tasks that we really want to get done. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get into the content. Oh shit, I got a purple. What the fuck? Let's go. Please just don't be... What do I already have? I already have a rapier. Don't be a rapier. Anything but a rapier. Ooh, okay, okay, we take those, we take those. We got a scythe, we didn't get a sub-16, but we got a scythe. Say fucking less. Say fucking less, G. What's good? What's good? 250 points as well for a scythe. And that right there is 89 crafting. We're making all these arrow tips for a 25 mil fletching, but it does give me 960 crafting XP every time I make one of them. So this does give me a couple of crafting levels too. Okay, and that is a hard task of filling a giant pouch ton. I've had this for a while, just didn't do it, and that is 100 points. Very happy that my tree has lived through the night. This is another 250 points right here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, it is. That puts us over 35,000 and puts us onto 35,320 points. Very, very nice. Okay, and that right there is 90 Herblore. Very, very nice, putting us up to 2,094 total. We're working on 2,100 total right now because that's another 250 points. And that is 91 Herblore, very, very nice. Okay, and that is 99 mining off the Motherload mine. We have to do this a lot because we need to buy full Prospector for the Fally Elite Diaries, so we're gonna have a lot of fun here. But that is 250 points off 99 mining. Did that update me? It did, it puts me up to 35.57k. Dude, I just got another heavy frame, bro. And that is 84 smithing. I'm just gonna finish out the rest of these Addy Bars, and I'm gonna smelt a Runite Bar for 250 points. Okay, and this is smelting a runite bar, which is another 250 points. I just hit the quick dwarven stout for it. And nice, we are on 35.67k right now. Wait, that's only 100 points. Alright, let's check the health on these trusty mahogany trees. 250k XP drop putting me to 90 farming. The 250k XP drops go fucking hard. This is going to be 91 farming too, putting us one level off 2,100 total. Okay, we're being very inefficient with our fletching right now, but it's for the YouTube. It's for you guys. Hitting eight, oh, that's awkward. Hitting 86 fletching, putting us up to 2,100 total. Another 250 points earned. We're gonna max eventually, so that's really nice. 35.92k. Okay, and something I should have done when I got 80 construction, it was build an achievement gallery. I'll put stuff in it later. I just can't be bothered right now. And that's 100 points for building it, putting me over 36k for the first time. And it is time to go for the 500 point toss, the sub 75 Inferno. Now with a Slayer Helm, I do think this should be pretty doable. My time before was 92 minutes and I was waiting a lot with for SGS specs. Here I have like 15% more damage on anything. And I think that'll be like directly proportional to the time. And I should be able to get it pretty easily even with melee. The Slayer Helm is pretty strong. Let's see how it goes. This is my first attempt since getting that cape. And at just past 44 minutes, we managed to reach Jad. We were very well on pace. We could just chill. All we had to do was complete Zuck and we've got it. 46 minutes, 3 seconds after completing triples. Just get a completion and this is going to be the easiest 500 points of my life. Unfortunately, there was a bit of brain lag again, and I took a very humble Zuck hit into a not very humble Ranger hit, and we unfortunately got KO'd, but I know we can do it, we just gotta come back and get it. Molten Glass. Yes! Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! Completed in 1525, that's 500 points right there, bro. 36.52k. I've hyped, bro, I've hyped. Let's go! 
Oh, it's purple for me. Let's go. I didn't even notice. Okay, okay, okay. Please be anything but a scythe or a rapier. Oh, another rapier, dude. I called it as well. It's mine. It's my purple. Come on, please don't be a scythe or another rapier, bro. Just be anything, anything else and I'm happy. Okay, <laughs> just of our face guard. Whatever, that's 250 points, dude. It is what it is. There we go, 250 points. 50th kill count, no perp. Back into the inferno for another attempt at the sub 75 cape. We died at Zuck post healers, so I'm pretty sure we can do it. We just need to not choke. And no matter what we really do, we should be able to get the time. So let's go second attempt at these 500 points. Now we've made it back to Zuck. Now the timer on screen says 51 minutes, 25 seconds, but I think it's actually around 55 minutes, 25 seconds. So either way, as long as we don't do like a 30 minute Zuck, we're chilling, we got this. Ruby ball to start, we take those. Kill the fucking Jad, dude. Choke this and I should have it. Come on, that should be it. Nice, sub 75 infernal cape. That was really close for comfort. Honestly, I probably should have got it on my first attempt, but I did choke it, so I'm happy to get it there. Please tell me I'm recording. I am. That's a sub 75 cape, putting me up to 37.27k. All right, that's 91 crafting, three more levels, and then we can boost for all our Zenites. And that is 92 crafting, two more levels. This is gonna be hard. And that right there is 93 crafting. We've been running back and forth from the Tazar gem shop. We also got a bunch of gold ore from raids from TOB, and we just made them into gold bars for extra crafting XP. One more level and we can boost for all those Zenites, and then we need to actually go get two more Zenites. And that is 95 magic, our only non-combat 99. We pretty much have 25 mil on everything else. It's just there hasn't been much reason to train magic, to be honest. Right now, we're just making our fire orbs to make battle staffs later. We do eventually have to get 25 mil magic, though, but I think that'll just come over the course of time. That is 94 crafting, which means we can now boost for all our Zenites. We still need two more Zenites, and we need to go get another Sisolip Chop thingy majiggy from Fossil Island to actually make the boost. Some more mahogany trees this is going to be fat XP drops, getting us to 92 farming, probably 250k. Another 250k, 92 farming, very nice, and another 250k getting us close to 93, and we have a bunch more mahogany saplings to plant. Anyway, we can honestly just keep doing this and total 25 mil farming. Just choked on all my words there, but yeah. I've got some Sislip caps or whatever they're called, so when I get these two more Zenites, I can boost to make all four of my Zenites. Oh my god, I just got another monkey tail, bro. Apparently these are really like rare. Some guy was telling me that he was 700 KC dry earlier for them. And I got another monkey tail. I think I need a ballista spring for my heavy ballista, which is 250 points. But I haven't got one of those yet. Okay, that's a task of 150 demonic girl is done. Still no Zenite. However, we did get like our first two in under 150, so I can't really complain just yet. 300 kills and two Zenites. Not too bad. Let's go get another task and try and get those next two. And that is actually the task for 300 demonic girl is done. I guess I was on 298. That's 250 points right there. There's a bunch of tasks with demonic, so going dry here is the worst thing. I just need those two Zenites in general, though. Bro, that's my third heavy frame. I don't know exactly what piece it is, but it's definitely not that that I need to complete my heavy ballista. I think it's the ballista spring or the frame. I probably said it in a previous clip. I just can't remember. And that is another heavy frame, dude. Our fourth heavy frame. I don't want to jinx myself, but I'm now at about... 
uh, 370 demonics, only two zenites, so I am quite under drop right now, and all I'm getting are heavy frames. I'm thinking this might be another armadillo situation, not that bad once again, because I have to get a lot of kill count regardless, but I really do want these two zenites. Let's go, those are two spirit seeds. Okay, that's actually good because we need to plant uh, spirit trees for a task later, so that's very, very nice. I already have one in the bank, but I needed two of them anyway. All right, I just got a ballista spring. I think that's the last piece I need to uh, make my ballista. I could be wrong. It might be the limbs, we'll have to go see. There we go, there's our third zenite shard. That's our third zenite shard, and we're literally about to finish a task of 100. There we go, we're about maybe close to 500 kills, so we really should have all four zenites, but I can't complain, I've got my third one. That really motivates me, I was kind of dying out here. Now we just need one more. Quick little check on the kill count, we have killed 506, damn, for three zenites. So we're about two zenites dry, because the drop rate is a flat one in 100. Another heavy frame. I just checked. We now have five heavy frames. We have three ballista springs, two monkey tails, but not a single ballista limbs. Shit game. Let's go, Zenite Shard, Zenite Shard. Thank God, bro. I was literally just complaining to Maz about my Zenite luck. I think I'm on 680, 660 kills or something, but that's my fourth Zenite. We can get the fuck out of here for now. We do have to come back. Alright, the cash deck has been depleted significantly because I need to buy Chaos Ruins, but it's all worth it because we need to get ourselves three Onyxes for these three Zenites we've got in the bank. Alright, and that's all three Onyxes bought, let's go make these Zenites. Okay, it's time to make these Zenites, let's not fuck this up. One of each. Zenite Bracelet, one. Nice. Zenites Amulet, one. I need some, what's it called, wool for that as well, I forgot about that. And Zenite Necklace, one. Okay, I think we have successfully done this without fucking it up. Okay, and that is the master task of equipping all Zenite jewelry. I was actually a little bit panicked because my suffering is already a suffering while these are just Zenite necklaces. So I was, I was honestly believing that Jax may not give me the points for that. But luckily they did. However, let's enchant all of this real quick. That is it for today's video. The Sub-75 Inferno. The Scythe of its her. All Zenites unlocked and a lot more progress done. In the next episode, we break 40k points and start the climb for the top page again. Subscribing is the best way to support me, so if you guys have been enjoying the videos and you aren't subbed yet, feel free to hook it up. I'll see you guys later.